Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with cute three of the weekly contest 296. We place elements in an array. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know how what you did with that array. Uh, but yeah, um, <clears throat> so this one, I didn't really understand what they were asking for, to be honest, when I was reading about this. Um, it took me about two minutes, but I just really was very confused. Um, because I think this is straightforward. I think the, the only optimizations that you have to make is that if you do a, a scan through the way every time for each operation, it is going to be too slow because just the constraints, right? N, is, N and M are too big, so it's going to be too slow. So you want if you're able to do this in O of 1, then that should be good enough. And actually, the, the thing that I was really curious about, you know, it, it did say it here in the distinct part, I was like, oh, maybe you have to change you know, uh, multiple numbers in a way such that there's like some psycho things. And like, I was thinking about like union fine and like, oh, combining things. Like, for example, I mean, this is not possible during the, uh, th with these constraints, but you can imagine like, oh, one change to four and now you have to change all the fours or something like that, right? That's a more interesting problem, uh, but also not this problem though. So I'm not going to go over it. But because of that, it's just about what I call bookkeeping, meaning keeping track of where everything is and then just update them as after... You know, and then also keeps making sure that everything is still tracked correctly afterwards. Um, and that's pretty much what I did. Um, I have a lookup array. I, I put, it just keeps track of what index each number is in. And then when I need to, given an operation, I need to look up a number. I have to index, update the number, uh, update the, you know, the new Y to the new index, and then delete the old one. That could be a silly mistake, though. I don't think that would come up, actually, because um, you can only get replaced. But I did it anyway. In any case, yeah, and in this case, this is going to be linear space because of the lookup table for each number, and of course, this is linear time because this, these are just all linear. Uh, these are all constant operations, and you have to do it linear number of times. Uh, and by linear, I actually mean uh, n time plus m, which is technically o of n space and o of m uh, n plus m time, right? Uh, that's what I mean by linear. Maybe I wasn't that accurate actually, but. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I thought this was a little bit s pretty okay, so I didn't really, I don't know, I took a little bit of time just making sure it was right because I thought it was a little bit too silly. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, how y'all did. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all I have. You can watch me solve it live during the contest now. This one. Which is possible, to be honest. <laughs> These problems are a little weird. <coughs> the same index, the number one with three, okay. okay. The distinct, okay. I guess that's the key part. I was wondering. Uh, Okay, that's the other part. Okay. It's way weird to me though, the way that's phrased. But okay. Um, So X becomes Y, okay. Unless I'm misunderstanding this form as well. Hopefully this is right. Okay. Uh, this 
uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's contest, these problems. Uh, guy did okay, but yeah. Uh, I'll see you later. Take care and goodbye.